we already had this sort of profound shift from a very decentralized internet to a really corporate controlled internet through just very few platforms. So we've seen the same thing already happen with artificial intelligence, but for different reasons. It costs an enormous amount of money to do AI at scale, and you need a huge amount of infrastructure. So just the cost to build data centers around the world is so vast now that it's going to be very difficult for anyone to compete with the top three cloud companies. And that's right, there's only three. So you're looking at a type of lock-in from the very beginning. And of course, these companies are also acting as, in some ways, almost like state actors. They have an enormous amount of power, both in terms of setting regulation in side states, but also between nation states. So you're looking at a new form of power that in many ways is actually anti-democratic by nature. They're led by different priorities. They have to meet shareholder priorities before they think about issues like sharing the wealth or social well-being or the sorts of things that we might actually want societies to be. So I think in many ways, if there's been a failing of the last 10 years, it's that we assume that there's always a, a different way we can shape these technologies down the road. I disagree. I think we have to look at the realities of how the infrastructures are built. And if we want to change them, it's actually going to take collective action. It's not an individual solution where we can say, oh, I'll just, you know, stop using Google or stop using Facebook. It's actually about structuring how our democracies work, bringing in regulation, and actually deciding what kind of world we want to live in rather than letting technology set the agenda. 